Good morning. It's seven o'clock in the morning. Izzy has already gone to college. Yes, home educators can get up in the morning to go to college. I have found this to be a true fact. I'm just gonna show you what I did last night. Here's the puzzle, all finished. It is very early morning-ish. I'm looking out of my window at early morning things that I don't normally see, like the refuse trucks that come and collect business waste. This is my second cup of tea of the day and I'm going to sit down here now at my laptop and finish yesterday's vlog because I haven't quite finished it. And I'll speak to you later. It is 7.53am. I have finished yesterday's vlog and I'm exporting and I can barely stay awake. I feel so knackered. I think I might need to go back to bed for an hour. I'm not very good at early starts. I'm sitting here contemplating coffee or bed, but I haven't finished doing all the, uh, you know, the other stuff. Not an early bird. Not, not an early bird. <sighs> I've decided I'm going to try and have some breakfast and drink coffee and watch a vlog and then See if I can stay awake, because it might perk me up, you see, the food and all that. Oh, it's that Soya Light stuff again. I forgot about that. I accidentally got it. Well, it was a substitution, wasn't it? In an online shop. This is like my daily morning routine <laughs> video. Oh, I can't even string a sentence together. Let's try it again. This is like one of those my daily morning routine videos. Yes. I just, I like corn cakes. I'd really like to eat them for breakfast with Marmite. I've got two Marmites, look, because one's about to run out. <laughs> and butter. And that's my breakfast. And I know it's probably not very nutritious, but it gets me going in the morning. Apologies for the fact that I am totally on go slow this morning. I just, I am struggling to think in sentences. <laughs> I need to go back to bed. <laughs> I tell you what. I'll talk to you after I've had a sleep later. I'll be more alert then. Bye. This is the port. Yeah. <laughs> it's quarter to nine. I haven't been to sleep, but I've perked up. I've had my uh, my breakfast and my coffee. It was mostly decaf, to be honest. So it wasn't the caffeine particularly. I watched a couple of really calming, nice vlogs and. I think that was what did it, yes. It was watching vlogs. Vlogs are very good for your health, you know. I'm going to get on and uh, get mine up now. I don't know how it's as late as this, but it's now 12 o'clock in the afternoon. But as you can see, I am on top of the dishes. I've been sitting at my desk for most of that. I've been, obviously got today's video up, which you will have seen yesterday. I tweaked a few titles and thumbnails and descriptions a little bit of some very old videos. Not many, just a little handful. And what else did I do? Oh yes, and also I looked at the footage that I'd already done for this one because I was so tired when I did it. I wasn't sure if it was any good and I wanted to see if I needed to start the vlog over, but I've decided to leave it in because it's quite amusing. To me anyway, so if it was boring to you, very sorry. I have apparently forgotten to get dressed. I just realised I'm still in my pyjamas, so I'm going to go and sort that out now. I am now dressed and I'm also starving. What have we got in here? There's pasta. This is one of my more eccentric meals, I think. The pasta had been in the fridge for a day and a half and so I'm heating it really, really, really thoroughly just in case there's any microbes. It's a bit carby. I've literally just added a flat cap mushroom, one of these, chopped very finely so it'll cook quite quickly and easily and a tin of broad beans and that's pretty much it really. And there are a few bits and bobs from the original pasta dish floating around in there as well. Anyway, hopefully it doesn't give me food poisoning. I've done my usual seasoning combo, which is the Kickerman soy sauce, lemon juice and chilli flakes. Lots of all three. Look, I got these 33p last night when I was out buying Izzy's packed lunch stuff. Got to wash it, rock it. I might as well wash it all and throw it all in, I think, because it'll boil down to nothing, won't it? Oh my goodness, this is so good. I can't stop eating it. Mm. The thing with rock it, is it tastes really, really, really good and you think, I can't stop eating it. And then you eat a little bit and then you think, oh, blimey, I've had enough. <laughs> well, it smells all right. I'm going to serve it up and pop a bit of emmental on the top. 
Ta -da! Um, I think I might have done myself a big portion. This is what happens when you don't get enough sleep. So this is the moment when we must act. If we can curb the number it's of our prime minister doing a live speech. Reduce the reproduction rate to one. So we're acting on the principle that a stitch in time saves nine. The government will introduce new restrictions in England, carefully judged to achieve the maximum reduction in the R number with the minimum damage to lives and livelihoods. It's ten past one. That was not one of my better meals. I've got to admit the pasta was going a bit past its best. But anyway, I've eaten some of it. It was too much for me to eat, really. But do you know what? I have to give up now and just go to bed for an hour. It's not that it was an early start. The fact was I decided to have an early night at midnight, but then I couldn't sleep for ages and ages. And then Isabel's alarm went off at 4.50 a.m. because she had set it wrong. But by that point, I was like this, like, because I hadn't even been asleep more than a few hours. And so I couldn't get back to sleep again because I was just worried that I would miss the real alarm to get her up, so. Uh, this is why I've only had, I don't know, three or four hours sleep at the most, so I'm gonna go back and get some more now. I'm awake! I woke up, it's quite late, I think it's gone three. Yep, ten past three. Oh wow, I needed the sleep. Um, because it's so late, I think it's time to do going up the town things, which involve a third attempt at getting Izzy's prescription. I know what I did wrong. I was supposed to get it today, not last week. I got mixed up with my dates, no wonder. You see, even in the last lot that I bought, you know, I had that paper bag that I was trundling back from the chemist with. Well, it was still missing one crucial item, which was cetirazine, actually. So she ran out, so she didn't have it this morning. I also want to go shopping for elastic, and I know where there's a all that has it that wasn't open last time I looked so I'm gonna go there and well watching about all these latest um, tightening of restrictions to do the pandemic I feel like I need to panic buy some jigsaw puzzles so <laughs> I might go and treat myself to a new one because I finished my last one off and well I get my money's worth out of those thousand pieces they keep me going for weeks they do because I take so long over them because I don't really spend that much time on them of an evening so I just do a little bit here and there well, it's relatively quiet. I think I'll take my trolley and allow myself to get a little carried away with uh, bits and bobs for lunch boxes and things. I think I'll go in the uh, discount supermarket. Uh oh. Looks like I'm not getting my elastic thread today. <laughs> well, Ismi, I came out with all the best of intentions to film, brought the GoPro and the road mic. I didn't. I left half of the road mic set up at home, so I'm back on my phone again. I've got some elastic though, I'll show you when I get in. It's in a little haberdashery. Look, jigsaw puzzles. I'm debating the one with 3,000 pieces for £2.49. It looks a bit faded though, I bet the puzzle itself isn't. Oh, should I do it? 3,000 pieces though, and what if the last piece is missing? Yeah. That'd be so annoying. Oh, go on. They're saying these restrictions are going on for six months. Bubble gum hand wash. Now, I'm about ready to buy a new hand wash because I'm getting through it, obviously. That sounds fun. I spied that these are down to 60p. Hmm, yeah, go on then. Give those a go. 29 pence for chickpeas. I don't have a shortage of them, but at that price, I'm just going to put a few in the trolley. Thinking it might be a long, hard winter. Do you know what I mean? I've got a trolley. I'm not buying loads, it's just it's so much easier than dragging that and a little trolley, you know. I'm looking for some little individual packets of crackers, there we are, for Izzy's lunch boxes in case she eats everything and is still hungry on the way back. 14 packets for £2, that'll do. Oh, excellent, they've got that, two quid. That's a good deal. Last to stop now, chemist. Let's see if we can get the last bit of Izzy's prescription. I've arrived back home, look. There is the other part of the mic. Oh! <laughs> oh! 
<sighs> Fortunately, Ivy has had some good news about the Femi palm and he can send it back for a refund, thank goodness. Look, I got this elastic for 85 pence for that little amount. I should be able to make some masks with that. Shall we see what else I got? I want to ring my boyfriend. I've got an urge. I'm missing him now. I've been very good at holding it together and all that. But, you know, every now and then, I'm like, Ooh. I think you've seen the majority of this stuff. What I tend to do is just carefully open them and then tip them in the cupboard so that they can discard the outer, potentially coveted layer. These look like a bit of a novelty. Lemon Turkish Delight. I checked the ingredients. There's no actual lemons in them, so Izzy can have them. She'll like that. She'll be delighted. And you might think, what the heck, it's not Christmas. Well, the thing is, I meant to get a little chalky biscuits for Izzy's lunchbox, like, I don't know, penguins or Kit Kats, you know, the little ones. But I walked out of that aisle, forgot to get it, and I realised I couldn't go back again because it was quite crowded, and as you know, they have one-way systems in shops at the moment. But by which point I had reached the Christmas section. So for 89 pence, she's getting those, but that's five days worth anyway. So she levelled up because of my mistake. Not biscuit with chocolate on. No, all chocolate. Well, actually that's not true because there's a fudge, a curly whirly and a chomp. But she'll probably be happy with that. I feel like I'm going against the law of Christmas opening this. It feels naughty. Sorry Santa, please don't give me presents. There you go. The Americans. These are the sorts of chalky bars, they're only little you see, that you would give to small children for a little treat, you know. You've got your chocolate buttons, a chomp, a finger of fudge, Freddo, that's just chocolate in the shape of a little froggy character, and a curly whirl, it's like got holes in it and it's kind of toffee-ish stuff. No good for my teeth. These are my charity shop treasures. Look, Izzy's supposed to wear black to college and she's a bit short of black jumpers but I bought her a long sleeved black t-shirt, which is kind of an extra outer layer, isn't it? She's loath to wear these. She's gonna rebel, but she kind of needs one. So that was one pound, one pound 99 for that. I'll probably just wash that before she puts it on. Just dump it down there for now. I've got to cut the labels off, obviously. If she really won't wear it, I will. That's the sort of thing I will be quite happy in. Now the puzzles look $2.99. Honestly, it looks new. Large puzzle guide included. Ooh, I'm tempted to snip the boxes open and have a look. Oh, it's in a bag. I found a corner piece already. <laughs> so that size. Yes, oh good, excellent. Why don't all puzzles have this? A nice big fold out picture inside that you can look at more easily. Very sensible. I'm not sure this one's even been done. So how many pieces is that? 1,000, so that'll keep me going for ages. That's a 500. Um, that sky's gonna be annoying, but actually I do quite like doing the shapes. I didn't with the tigers as much, I must admit, but I think I'll be alright with this one. Oh, this one's open already. Oh, look at that. Looks like it's um, sorted into two bags. Oh, these are the side pieces. <laughs> it's like partially done. Well, that, piece, that bit's in the wrong place. Look, someone's tried to do that and they haven't done a very good job. Look. Oh, look, maybe somebody had a go. Thought, oh, that's too hard, I can't be bothered, and just put it back in the bag. These pieces are just like done all wrong. That's funny. Anyway, I'll enjoy that. Great. That looks virtually new. Now the PS de resistance. I can already imagine I'm gonna lose my patience with this one. How old is this? <laughs> 3,000 pieces. The biggest I've ever done is 1,000. I'm thinking, you know, it's gonna be a long winter, this one. <laughs> oh, that split. That's even old sellotape on there that is yellowed. I want to have a look now, see how aged the pieces are, or if they're in nice nick. Because the box is faded, but I'm hoping the puzzle pieces are not faded. No, they look fine. 
Oh my word, there's a lot of them. Now that's a daunting amount of jigsaw pieces for one puzzle. One piece missing. <gasps> dun, dun, dun. But it was nice of them to say so. <sighs> That's not very motivating. Not motivating. <laughs> I'm kind of glad they told me. Okay. Well, perhaps I could make the missing piece, you know, when it's all done. Bit of polyfiller. <laughs> I'm going to put these all away over there on my box pile and I'm going to phone my boyfriend. It is now the evening and Izzy has been home for quite a while. She came in the door, said she'd had a good day and shot up the stairs to do more painting because apparently she's been thinking about it all day in college and couldn't wait to get home to get stuck back into it. I bet you've been missing her on the vlog today, haven't you? We're coming to see the painting. Witness the artist at work in her incredibly messy room. It's got character. Oh wow, trees. That one's like a thousand times better. Do you want to sign off the vlog? Goodbye, don't forget to comment and subscribe. That's it, is it? I'm very enthusiastic, can you tell? I'll do it. I can't end the vlog in here, I am too yellow. I'm going somewhere that's not yellow. If you liked this video, please give it a like as it really helps the channel to grow. If you're new here and you'd like to follow more of our story, please feel free to hit that subscribe button to follow more of our adventures and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye!